Our guest today is uh, Tony McCammon, the U of I horticulture educator for Magic Valley. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. Good. Uh, well, a good guy to have in here this time of year, especially as we start thinking about Christmas trees and going out and getting our trees. I know a lot of people who go out and they, they either cut them or they or they buy them at one of the, the Christmas stands uh, around town. And uh, important to know some things about uh, the care of your Christmas tree. Uh, do you have any advice for us as we go out and get our Christmas trees this year? Most definitely. As a horticulturalist, you know, we... You, 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 you love to have that those scents in the house. You love to see that greenery in your home. Um, I, I I'm a I'm a gardener by heart uh, through and through. So I I, I love plants. And uh, you, you you mentioned uh, going up to the hills and grabbing you know you know cutting your own Christmas tree. That's actually probably the best way to go because you can choose you know you can choose your tree. Uh, it's it's fresh cut literally fresh yeah, cut. Yeah, because you're doing it right then. Yeah. Um, because, you know, a lot of these trees that are in these lots, they, they were cut, uh, you know, the week after, um, probably the week after, even some of them the week before Thanksgiving. Oh, so they, they've been cut a long time and, and now they're sitting out in these lots and in some cases in the sun. Uh, so that evapotranspiration, they've started the dying process. Okay. And uh, if they're not in water, then they're going to dry out within, within a couple weeks. Got it. Uh, but if they are in water, Meaning you cut it yourself, or you go and get it as soon as those lots start to open up the first of December, then uh, you get them in water right away. They'll last for four to five weeks uh, with with really no problems as long as you keep water on them. So is it would it be key for um, somebody? You know, I'm I am not good at going out and cutting my own. I'm not really equipped for it. So if if I do choose to get my tree at a lot, and let's say I'm getting it uh, right now, yeah, and I know that this is a little bit late in the season, might be considered by some, but I still got plenty of time. This now, is, <laughs> is that key to get it in water right away, even if I haven't put it up yet? Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. This is not late in the season. Um, you you go go into these lots. You know, pick a good a good a good tree that's going to hold on to its needles a little bit longer. Uh, just so you know, Fraser fir is is probably. Uh, the best for okay. not losing its needles. Uh, you get into the noble firs and the grand firs, and they 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 tend to dry out more than anything. They have a lot uh, larger leaf surface to their needle, and so they they there's a lot more evapotranspiration going, and a lot a lot more opportunity to dry out. So so you know go go look at go look at the trees. The shorter the needle, the better it's gonna gonna uh, hold up in your in your home. Uh, find. Uh, Make make sure they cut off a quarter of an inch on the on the ba- at the base of the tree, and that's gonna that's gonna basically open up all the um, the siphoning in that cambium of the tree. So as 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 that tree starts to siphon up, you get it in water as soon as possible, and it'll it'll last four four to five weeks if if you maintain that that water reservoir. Uh, turn down the temperature in your home. Okay, um, that's that's another thing you can do. Uh, try to find a lot that's in a little bit more shaded, uh, okay. so it's not it's not dealing with those uh, southwest you know sun. Got it. I had somebody um, mention to me once, and uh, I don't know if there's anything to it, you know. And, and you had mentioned needles, which leads me to my next question: Is there any kind of a trick to to keeping the needles on the tree as long as possible? Besides the, what you just mentioned, with making sure that we cut off a little bit of the stump and the watering. If somebody said something, you could add something to it. I don't remember if they said vinegar. I'm sure there's. I, I'm sure you've heard it all. I'm sure don't you've heard it vinegar. all. I, I, I hadn't heard vinegar. Please don't do vinegar. That I don't. I, that would probably um, probably make it worse. Negate the smell of the evergreen tree. You would think so. But is there any kind of a, <laughs> yes, a but, trick to keeping the needles on the tree as long as possible? Yes. You know, there's some master gardeners out in Washington. They they put together some research because they heard about all these 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 house remedies mm-hmm. of putting pennies and and uh, they even heard one of putting Viagra in the water um just just crazy things that that homeowners do because they they think it's going to help the tree um you know one of one of the most common is sugar uh adding a couple tablespoons of sugar or some sprite or some seven up well what what does sugar breed it breeds bacteria and it, it, fungus um mildew mold that's that's what sugar breeds inside the water and so don't don't add those sugars because what they found was it actually clogged up that siphon, and so okay. it, it it cut down it cut down on the life of the, the tree in the house. But what they did find um, was just lukewarm water, a quart of water per inch caliper of the base of the tree. And most of these these uh, most of these trees that we bring into our house are about uh, you know four inches in diameter. So you want you're going to put on put on a, put put in about a gallon of water uh, per tree per day. Okay. 
So it's really it's really that simple. I don't have to add anything no. funny to it, or we don't need to put Viagra in our drinks. <laughs> yeah, That's don't great. do that. That's and, and, great. and another thing they they tried, and they said it actually worked really well, except for it discolored the tree. Is is a, just a high amount of hairspray. Basically, you're gluing the needles to the stem. Oh, okay. So they sprayed their tree down with hairspray, and that that seemed to work as well. But it did discolor the needles, so you didn't have an evergreen; you had an ever gray. Okay, all right, fair enough. Now you've got something that starts in in January through the U of I the U of I Horticulture uh, Program. It's called the Master Gardener Program. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, the Master Gardener Program is a volunteer based program. It uh, runs thirteen weeks, starting in January. Uh, it's a great opportunity for gardeners to and, and non gardeners just to, just to learn how to have a green thumb, learn how to grow some things the right way, and uh, and you know sustainable practices and and being being more um, self sufficient in our own gardens. Uh, that's that's kind of what we promote in the Master Gardener program, and we also promote giving back to the community. We we do beautification projects. We have a we have a group of about sixty Master Gardeners, certified Master Gardeners, currently that uh, give back to the community every year. And if that's something that, that sounds like uh, it's of interest to you, uh, give, give me a call. Uh, we have a class starting up uh, the end of January in Twin Falls in the evenings uh, on Tuesday nights. And then we also have a class in Shoshone in the mornings on Wednesday and a class in Rupert in the afternoons on Wednesday. On Wednesday. Okay, and uh, what's the best number to reach you at if somebody you wants can, to call you? You can reach me at 734-9590. Or you can go onto my website. Uh, it's Magic Valley Horticulture. You can type in Magic Valley Horticulture, and and my website and my Facebook page will come up. Uh, but the website itself is www.hortmagic.org. All right. We'll also post links and have this uh, interview posted online at uh, kezj.com. Thanks so much for uh, being with us today. Appreciate you. Thanks for having me.